Hello everyone, welcome to session 2. Dear students, in this session we are going to discuss about different topics of biodiversity. That is, importance of species diversity to the ecosystem and losses of biodiversity. And what are the causes of biodiversity losses? Yes, the first one is importance of species diversity to the ecosystem. See dear students, as we know, the species richness is very important for ecosystem. See, because of the communities with the more species generally tend to be more stable than those with the less species. So which means those species, number of species in more in communities, that species become more stable than those with less species present in communities. A stable communities should not show variation in productivity from year to year. And it must be either resistant or resilient to occasional disturbance. The disturbance may be natural or man-made. And it's also resistant invasions by alien species. See, these are all importance of species diversity to the ecosystem. There are two scientists, they explain the species diversity to the ecosystem by experiments. Number one, Experiment by David Tiltman. Experiment by the scientist David Tiltman. He explained the importance of species diversity by plot, plot, plot or is nothing but land or area. Area with the more species shows less from year to year variation in total biomass. According to David Tillman, plot, plot which means area or land, with the more species shows less from year to year variation in total biomass. Andre, David Tillman or Prakara, E land atva area adali, species in Aktaide, Bartha 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 in Aktaide, Varsha than the Varshake, Kamia Taide. So it shows variation in total biomass. Dear students, as we know, biomass is nothing but mass of living uh, biological organisms present in area. So he explained plot with more species, with more species shows less from year to year, from year to year, variation in total biomass, variation in total biomass. And he also explained the increased diversity contributes higher productivity, increased diversity contributes higher productivity higher productivity and rich biodiversity which is essential for ecosystem health and survival of human race so this is all explained by David Tillman so he explained that flat with the more species shows less from year to year it caused variation in a total biomass and he also explained the increased diversity contributes higher productivity and rich biodiversity which is sells for ecosystem health and survival of human race the next scientist rivet popper hypothesis rivet proper hypothesis see rivet proper hypothesis it's an analogy used to understand importance of a biodiversity see analogy which means compared to the thing to another thing so this is called analogy so the rivet hypothesis the rivet proper hypothesis is an analogy used to understand importance of biodiversity so this hypothesis proposed by Stanford ecologist Paul 
Erlich. Paul Erlich. So he compared the, the total ecosystem into airplane. Ecosystem into airplane. Yes, dear students, as we know, the airplane is uh, made by different materials like aluminum sheets, screws, bolts, and nuts, and different things used to make airplane. Yes, Paul Elrich, he compared that airplane parts into species. See, rivet, rivet, which means screws, nuts, and bolts, popper, pop. Pop, which means remove, removing, removing. Okay, so Paul Elrich he compared ecosystem into whole airplane and the airplane parts. He compared airplane parts into species. If the passengers pop a rivet, extension of a species. It may not affect flight safety, functioning of ecosystem takes place. But if the passengers pop a rivet continuously, it affects on flight safety. It causes dangerous to ecosystem, which means the rivets are nothing but species. If the continuously remove the species from ecosystem, it causes it damages to the ecosystem. Extension of a species if may not affect flight safety and functioning of ecosystem takes place. But if the passengers pop a rivet continuously, it may affect to flight safety and dangerous to ecosystem. And losses of rivets in the wings. The wings are the ski species that are drive major ecosystem. It may affect flight and a dangerous to the flight and really Paul Ehrlich whole ecosystem na airplane ke compare maadi dhar uh, airplane ali barthakkanta parts iti yal na uh, parts na species ke compare maadi dhar one of the species na remove maartta bartha eh? yeh nagatte it cause dangerous to plane dangerous to ecosystem and really Paul Ehrlich yeh maadi dhar yeh andre whole ecosystem na airplane ke compare maadi dhar yeh so, a airplane is an ecosystem. A airplane is an screws, nuts, bolts, aluminum sheets. This is the species compared to the other passengers. One of the species is removed. That is rivet, nothing but screws, nuts, bolts, and sheets. Removed. That is one of the species. It causes damages to the flight and also dangers to the ecosystem see this are all explained by paul alrich yes the next concept is losses of biodiversity according to iucn 2004 red list iucn 2004 red list shows 784 species 338 vertebrates 338 vertebrates and 359 invertebrates 359 invertebrates and 87 plants 87 plants were extinct in the last 500 years the last 500 years so so these species extinct in the last 500 years example Example, dodo, dodo, marshes, marshes. See, marshes, dodo is a type of bird. And quagga, quagga in Africa. See, quagga is a type of uh, zebra. And thylacine, thylacine in Australia, in Australia. So thylacine is a type of carnivores and stellar's sea cow stellar's sea cow in russia in russia 
and losses of three subspecies of tigers losses of three subspecies of tigers that is called bali javan and caspian caspian yes so these are all the extinct species duro marsius it's a type of bird quagga it's a zebra african zebra and thylacin is a type of carnivore animals found in australia and stella seco it's found in russia and lysis of uh, three subspecies of tigers that is called bali javan and caspian along with this 50500 species 50500 species are facing the threat of extinction threat of extinction and along with this 12% of birds 23% of mammals and 32% of amphibians amphibians and 31% of gymnosperms 31% of gymnosperms this is the threat of extinction and the current extinction rate is 100 to 1000 times faster than the free human times if this trend is continuous 50% of the species may be extinct within the next 100 years the next concept is impact of Yes, the next concept is impact of losses of biodiversity. Impact of yes, what are the impacts of uh, losses of biodiversity? So, in general, losses of biodiversity in region may leads to decline in plant production. Decline in plant production. The plant production maybe decreases. And and low resistant to environmental perturbation such as drought environmental environmental perturbation such as drought such as drought see perturbation environmental perturbation which means quick quick changes in environment quick changes or sudden changes in environment the third one is increased variability increased variability in ecosystem increased variability in ecosystem process ecosystem process such as plant productivity water use pest and disease cycle See, these are all impacts of loss of biodiversity. The first one is a decline in a plant production and environmental perturbation such as a drought, increased variability in ecosystem process such as plant production, water use, pest and disease cycle. The next concept is causes of biodiversity loss. Causes of biodiversity loss see the causes of biodiversity loss collectively called as evil quartet evil quartet yes there are four major causes the first one is habitat loss habitat loss and fragmentation fragmentation the second one is over exploitation over exploitation the third one is alien species invasion alien species invasion the fourth one is co-extinction co-extinction see this are all the yes the first one is habitat loss and uh, fragmentation this is the major cause driving animals and plants to extinction 
the tropical rainforest is lasts from 14 to 6%. 14 to 6 percent. Yes, the first one is habitat loss and fragmentation. Habitat loss and fragmentation is the major cause driving animals and plants to extinction. And here the tropical rainforest loss from 14 to 6 percent. 14 to 6 percent. There are thousands of hectares of rainforest is being cut within hearts. For example, Amazon rainforest. Amazon rainforest. Amazon rainforest. They cut the forest for cultivating the soybeans. Cultivating the soybeans. And convert into grassland. Convert into grassland for cattle. And fragmentation is badly affect on animal habitat and migratory animals. So these are all habitat loss and fragmentation. So habitat loss and fragmentation is the major cause of driving animals and plants to extinction. And losses of a tropical rainforest from 14 to 6 percent. There are thousands of hectares of rainforest is being cut within hours and the one of the example Amazon rainforest is cut for cultivating the soybeans and convert into grassland ecosystem for cattle and the fragmentation is badly affected on animal habitat and migratory animals. Yes, the second one is over exploitation. See for meat farmers, they used Stellar's sea cow and Passenger pigeon. Passenger pigeon. See, the passenger pigeon and stellar cow, they become extinct due to over exploitation. Yes. The third one is alien species invasion. See, that alien species is cause threat to biodiversity. So, for example, Nile perch. Nile perch. Introduced into Lake Victoria it is located in, located in East Africa. East Africa. It caused a extinction more than 200 species of cyclides fishes. Cyclide fishes. And some plants, for example, Parthenium americana. Parthenium carrot grass, Parthenium carrot grass, and Waterisian hycania, Waterisian hycania, and Lantana camera, and Lantana camera. See, these are all alien species. They become invasive, which means they threat to surrounding species. So that's why it's called invasive alien species. Yes, the third one example is. Illegal introduction of African catfish. African catfish. It's called Clarius garipinus. Illegal introduction of African catfishes to the aquaculture of India. It causes these African catfishes causes threat to Indian river fishes. So this is all about alien species invasive. See, all alien species are not invasive. Those species cause a threat to biodiversity. That species become invasive. That is called invasive alien species. Yes. The last one is co-extinction. See here, the one species become extinct. The depending species also become extinct. For example, parasite and host. The parasite is depend on host. When the host become extinct, the parasite will also become extinct. And co-evolved plant pollinator mutualism. See, when one species become extinct, the depending species also become extinct. Yes, this is all about co-extinction. Yes, dear students, in this session, we have discussed about uh, importance of uh, species diversity to the ecosystem and losses of biodiversity and impacts of losses of biodiversity and causes of biodiversity losses. Thank you.